Hey guys, so I'm coming to you today with the MAC Starter Kit. This is just a couple of things that I think you should start off with if you want to build a MAC collection. So I'm going to... Okay, so I'm going to start off with an eyebrow pencil, and this eyebrow pencil is in the color Spike, and I just love this eyebrow pencil just because it gives me a, a natural eyebrow. It don't come off as pasty and too dark for my eyebrows. It just come off just right. It's a real dark, dark brown. They have a shade darker than this, which is called Struck, and Struck to me comes off like a black color, and I really don't like that, but... Um, for if you're between a 1B and a 1 color, this color will be perfect for you. It would come off as a really natural color. So, yeah. I think I think um, $15, this is worth $15. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is concealers that I use for my eyebrows. And these concealers is, is the Studio Finish Concealer, which looks like this. And this is the color NC50, and this is the color NW45. I use the NC50 for if I want a highlight look under my eyebrows, I will use the NC50. And the NW45 is my skin tone color, so I use this. I use this for the top of my eyebrows, or I can use this for dark spots. I rarely use this for dark spots just because it's really um heavy and it's hard to blend sometimes it's, if you're not used to using it it's, it, can, it could come off as hard to blend but I love these concealers for my eyebrows mainly because I get my eyebrows done every three weeks and I have a lot of ingrown hair and these this, these concealers cover up them ingrown hairs you can't even tell that I need my eyebrows done so I really love these concealers for my eyebrows And these concealers can be used for multiple things. You don't have to just use these concealers just for your eyebrows. So I feel like this is a good buy for your starter kit. You should get a highlight color and a color that matches your skin tone. Okay, I'm still I'm gonna stick with concealers. This concealer is the Pro Long Concealer, and this is in the color NC50. And I use this concealer for my under eye just to give me a nice highlighter effect. It's not too light for my skin, and I like that. It's more like a natural highlight. So, in the Pro Long Wear, it's really good because it don't crease. I know a couple of people saying that it's starting to crease on them, but it still works as good. It's, it still works good for me. So, I do recommend the Pro Long Wear. And I like this concealer a lot. You can also use this concealer for um, dark spots. But I love the prolonged wear. I use this prolonged wear for my under eye. I use it for a couple of dark spots that I have over here. Some blemishes. Because I just put powder on today. I just put some concealer. Put this concealer on to cover up my dark spots. And I just put powder on top of it. No um, BB cream. No foundation. No nothing. All I have is the powder. And this concealer works wonders when you want a natural look and, and this concealer is really easy to blend now I'm gonna go into powders and I have the studio Mac fix powder and this is in the color NC 45 and it just looks like this I, I only use this um, powder for my under eye when I want to highlight it when I want a highlighter effect, I don't use this all over my face just because it's too light for my skin. So I just use it for like the, a highlight. This powder for a highlight. You can also, if you that type of girl that likes to um, to have a full coverage um, makeup, you can also get your skin tone in this powder and and use it for your all over your face. But I choose just to use this for a highlight. And the next powder that I got, I die for this powder. I love this powder. I just love this powder. I feel like this should be in your starter kit. This should be the first thing you pick up once you get into the store. I feel like this could go, this could work for you in the winter, the summer, if you want to just be lightweight I just put and this is the MAC mineralizer skin finish in the color dark and I just love this powder this powder is just so lightweight I don't like a, a lot of heavy heavy things on my face I only use BB creams I don't use liquid foundation so 
by me using the Murderizer Skin Finish, it just gives me a nice finished look. It don't have my face look cakey, it just looks like a natural glow. And I just love this skin finish a lot. And I feel like this is the first thing you should pick up when you go into the MAC store because the MAC, the Murderizer Skin Finish is just to die for. And I love this so much. I'm, ha I I'm gonna pick up, um, I don't know what happened to my deep dark. I just um, misplaced it. But I'm definitely going to have to pick it up once the summer um, starts. Because, you know, everybody gets a little darker in the summertime. And deep dark works great for me. I'm not going to get into eyeshadows because I feel like that's not the main focus into your matte collection starter kit. Just because you can start off with inexpensive eyeshadows such as BH Cosmetics, Elf. Um, Coastal Sands. There's a lot of inexpensive eyeshadows out there that you could get familiar with before you spend your money on eyeshadows. And if you want to see um, my collection of eyeshadows, just leave it in the, in the comments below and I'll show you all my eyeshadows that I got from MAC and also my um, my paint pots that I got from MAC. And again, I don't wear liquid foundation so I won't be talking about any liquid foundation from MAC just because I don't wear it, I'm not gonna talk about something that I don't know. If you're if um, you're doing a starter kit, that would be something. If you're into liquid foundation, that would be something you'll look into. But we're gonna talk about lipsticks, cause I love lipsticks. Like I feel like you should get some lipsticks when you. I think you should get some lipsticks. So yeah, so I'm gonna talk about three lipsticks that I got. Three lipsticks that are very nude and neutral. I feel like it works for all skin types. And you can wear this with any eye look and just on the go. I feel like the best way to start off a makeup collection is to start off nude. And once you get familiar with bold colors, then you should um, explore. But to start off, I think you should stick with the nude colors. That's what I did. I'm more of a nude girl. The anyway, first color I'm going to talk about is Twig. And this is the color that I have on my lips now. And this is how this color look. It's a really pretty color. It's more and it's more like a salmon undertone. It's really pretty. I like it a lot. And I'm just gonna swatch it. It's like a brown with a salmon undertone. It's really pretty. I believe this would be a nice, a nice nude color for um, you to pick up. And I and I feel like this works for all skin tones. And this is in a satin twig. Okay, so the next color is Viva Glam 2. And this is a nice, pretty color, a nice, pretty neutral color. And it's more like a nude, it's more like a nude color. It's really pretty, I like this color. Let me just give you a little swatch. It has like a pinky undertone. So this is the Viva Glam 2. And it's more like a pinky undertone. And I feel like this color will work with all skin tones too, especially for a natural look. The next color I have, and the last color, is... It's Fresh, fresh Brew, which is... Oh! The Viva Glam... The Viva Glam 2 is a, is a satin color also. And the next color I have is Fresh Brew, which is a luster. And this color is so pretty. I love this color. It's, it's a real light tan color. And I use this just if I'm not wearing no makeup and I just want something simple on my lips. Something very nude, but give me a nice shine, shine on my lips. I go. This is my go-to color. And I'm just going to swatch it for you. That's that fresh brew. It's really pretty. I like this color a lot. And again, this is in the lustre. So that's all I have for you guys today. This was, like I said, it was going to be a quick, easy video on what I believe that you should start off with as a matte collection. Um, again, I don't wear liquid foundation, so you can just go to the MAC store and they will, uh, they will help you out on to pick, picking out your foundation that you would like to wear. And that's all I have for you guys for today. And if you
if you have any questions leave in the comments below and i'll talk to you later bye